behalf of uh, the family of the deceased. Christopher Wa Ngombe and Jeff and Jeffrey Wanyeki. Jeffrey Wanyeki. And they, uh, they have uh, said that they will also be looking for another advocate to represent them in this matter. Are they in court? They are not in court. It was a short notice and they are not within Nairobi. Yes. Brian Mabea, the newly admitted one, Shanice, Miss Temes, Shanice Main, Omoyo, Shanice Maingi, Temes, and Mr. Shadra Kwamboy. How many we have to pay? Have they avoided? Uh, Can you scale down? 35 or 2 million? We will try. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sit with Mr. Omar Ribbon. 
so. Mm. You can bring the first three to see how far we go. Maybe also just for housekeeping and keeping people in court. Maybe we can also make arrangements to, uh, to, to have a bit of food. Why are you, why are you saying it will attract? Uh, mm -hmm. And for the members of the court estate, kindly, when you are reporting this matter and do the right thing, are we in agreement, Sheila and company? Yes. Why is yes. Sheila have not been said in this court? Our sour. Do it responsibly. I do not want you to start prosecuting this matter in the social media and there are also suspects. Let's be very sensitive to all the parties and we do the right thing. We do that, they don't win. We take a short break. for directions on the request of the unfortunate death of uh, Jeff Mwadi. Um, uh, we will be in court again on August 10th for the hearing, uh, the inquest to begin. So we, we hope that this process will finally shed light as to the culprits and the perpetrators as to the unfortunate death of, uh, death of Jeff Mwadi. As uh, the defense, we have our best foot forward and we will do what is necessary to uncover who caused this untimely and unfortunate death of Jeff Mwadi. Thank you. Ah. Kijana wa mama huyu, Jeff Mwadi, alipatikana ameaga dunia. Kisa na, na kwamba, serkali kafanya juchini, kawashuku, wale waliokuwa, 
wamekuwa ndio waliodhaniwa kwamba wamemua mtoto wa mama huyo kisha serikali ikasema kwamba lazima ule mwili ufukuliwe mara ya pili na kisha waweze kutoa chembe chembe zile za DNA na kuchunguza nini hasa kilichokuwa chanzo cha kifo chake na nani wa kulaumiwa ile faili ikatoka pale ikaenda kwa ofisi ya mkuu wa mashtaka ODPP baada ya kuangalia yale ODPP akaamuru kwamba ile file haiwezi endelea kwa mtu haiwezi julikana nani kamua basi ikarudishwa kwa kitu ambacho kwa lugha ya kisheria inaitwa inquest file imeletwa hapa kotwan ikarudishwa katika ile mahakama ya court number 8 kuweza kuendelea na kesi ambayo inaitwa inquest kwa ufupi nielezee sheria za inquest ili taifa zima na ulimwengu mzima uweze kujua ni kwamba inquest inapeanwa wakati ambapo serikali imeshindwa kusema ni nani aliyemua Jeff lakini serikali imekubali kwamba kuna mtu aliyeuawa nani aliyemua na mazingira yaliyokuwemo wakati wa mauaji yake hayaeleweki kwa hivyo serikali inainua mikono juu ama kitengo cha ujasusi DCI kimeainua mikono juu kwamba hatuwezi sema ni nani public inquest inafunguliwa kwa kila mtu yule ana ushahidi wote na kama familia tunaomba yeyote ambaye ana ushahidi wote aidha polisi hawakuchukua ushahidi wake ama ushahidi wake ulichukuliwa lakini hukuletwa sababu lazima kuna mtu aliona lazima kuna sikio lililisikia lazima kunaye ambaye atajitokeza na kutoa ushahidi wa kusema nani kamua Jeff kwa hivyo ombi letu kama familia wakili wa familia ni kwamba yeyote mwenye ushahidi anaweza pea ushahidi ule vyombo vya habari anaweza niletea mimi wakili Dunstan Omari pia ule ushahidi tutaweza kuchukua uwe ni ushahidi ambao ule atakayeogopa kwamba uenda akauawa akapigwa akadhulumiwa basi mimi nitahakikisha kwamba ule ushahidi tunauchukua kwa witness protection authority aweze kuwa witness ambaye ameifadhiwa na serikali ili tuweze kujua nani kamua Jeff kesi itaanza tarehe kumi mwezi wa nane ama saba nane kwa hivyo tutakuwa kwenye open court ili dunia nzima iweze kujua nini kilichofanyika na pia tutawauliza serikali ya Kenya kwa nini wameshindwa kutambua nani kaua swala zito ambalo litajibiwa kwa hivyo hayo mengine tutayagusia wakati ambapo tumepewa shahada na stakabadhi ma witness tumeambiwa ni 35 Tume, tunapewa statement zao na wakati ambapo tutazipea na tutazipea dunia nzima iweze kujua nini hasa washahidi wamesema in summary Felix his death in circumstances that looked suspicious a fast postmortem was done the body was buried the state swung into action and a second postmortem had to be done an exhumation order was issued that was done a file was constructed the same file was forwarded to the office of the director of public prosecution the public the director of public prosecution has recommended that this matter 
there is nobody directly involved with the murder or the death of one Jeff Mwathi. And therefore, his recommendation is that the file be taken to a public inquest. We appear today, we have been told by the state that they have 35 witnesses. Their statements which we are getting shortly, we'll be looking at the witness statements. This matter being a first major public in, uh, inquest in this country, we are appealing as a family that anybody who has information, anybody who has information to the circumstances that led to the death of a young man, Jeff Mwathi, can directly contact the family, he can directly contact his lawyers, I'm here, so that we are able to produce that evidence in the inquest. If there is any fear about is the security of that person, that information will be handled confidentially. We will be able to activate the witness protection of the agency to protect that witness so that we unravel the death of this young man. This mother had only two living children. One has gone. She is now having only one. It is very emotional. It is very, very emotional that today as she stands here, the government, the DCI, has failed to bring the culprit to court. Whether it is by default, whether it is by design, we will ensure justice for Jeff and justice for the mother. She's devastated the loss of her and the circumstances of the death was horrid. It is one of the most callous types of murder that has ever occurred in this country for a young man, a youth of that age. But we are determined as the defense team for the family we will keep this matter alive in the public domain and we'll be calling upon the whole country to rally behind the agenda of getting the heinous murderer, either one or two or three that participated or planned the death of that young man. In this matter, as you can see, we were the team that I'm here with. We were in Shakahola. I had to come in today in the morning to deal with this matter on a pro bono basis because I feel the pain of a young child, a young son to this mother being murdered and the state is raising up hands and saying, we are unable to identify who has murdered this brilliant young man who was a student at Nibs College. He could have grown to be the best lawyer later in life or a serious professional in this country. So, that is the end unless there are any questions about what transpired in court. Once we get the statements, we'll be able to address the content of those statements. So. Sema ni kushukuru tu wa Kenya juu tumekuwa pamoja kabisa nimewashukuru sana kabisa wa Kenya especially hata wenye wako nje US na wenye wako Middle East wamekuwa pamoja na mimi kabisa wamenitumia message wameniongelesha wamenipea courage so nawarudishia shukrani sana na Mungu awabariki That is it Thank Sasa tunajua tutapata justice ya mtoto wetu tumeumia tumelia tumehangaika but tunaamini kuna Mungu juu mbinguni. Yeah. Ah, mimi Kenya ningetaka ningetaka government ichukulie kila mtu akifanya makosa achukuliwe hatua. 
hiyo tu ndio nataka kusema sina mambo mengi sa thank you very much